is Gia Wolf from FBI Productions Squared, and we're here today to do a reaction for uh, episode 8 of Season 4 of The Expanse. First, let's kind of recap what happened in Season, in season 7, said it again, in Episode 7. Um, so, we've learned a bit more about that green eye stuff. Um, apparently, it's a, a single-celled organism that's native to Ilus. Um, it seems to have been uh, uh, revived or uh, reconstituted by the salt water, but that doesn't really explain everything about it. Um, the, people are getting infected with this before the all the, the tidal wave and things like that. So, I think it's more related to something that Holden has done or that Miller's done. Uh, um, we got a, our first glimpse of. Um, a new uh, saying for the expanse, Miller time. <laughs> the bad kind of Miller time. Um, Holden was saying that, that Miller's been doing stuff that he can't really control. And I think it's interesting that Miller's not been, it's been, he's been AWOL. That's why I find it's interesting. Hopefully before the end of the season comes, he'll come back and we'll get some, some sort of explanation of what the hell he's been doing, if anything. Um... And whether or not Holden's going to continue trusting him or not. I think what has to happen is that this, this proto-Miller has to regain his trust somehow. Um, so I think over the course of this, um, Holden's pretty much come to distrust what Miller's trying to make him do. Because after what he did, do what Miller told him to do, everything's gone to hell and back. So, um, Though, Holden did try to rationalize it, saying that Really, there's no getting off the train we're on, so uh, maybe it won't matter. Um, the that, that scientist is an exobiologist. Still don't know her name. Uh, but she is an exobiologist, so she studies the... Exobiology would be the study of alien life, basically. Um, she also mentions that um, pretty much any scientist would kill to be in Holden's position, being in contact with, direct contact with a... Uh, with some sort of, sort of advanced alien technology or advanced alien life. Um, no matter the, the, the costs of having that connection, um, anybody, any scientist would kill to, to be in Holden's place. Whereas Holden is like, I didn't want this and it, it's, you know, really annoying and it's, it's um, this cross that I didn't want to have to bear. And she's looking at him like, who the hell are you, what the hell are you talking about, you, you freak? Everybody would want this. Um, uh, the water is receding more slowly than they thought it would. Uh, so they're they would they're going to end up being down there longer than they thought they would be. Um, they also then, uh, later on in the episode, they, the, uh, there was a, a little confrontation between the Belters and the, the RCE people. Um, Mitri comes in and breaks it up. <coughs> Mertry comes in and breaks it up and basically is trying to make it so that they don't prematurely end up going into like a, getting in a, in a, into a uh, small W war with the Belters before they have to. Um, because the way things are going, if that happens, many, many more people are going to die than just the Belters. Um, Amos realized that too when Holden told him what was going on. Um, so, so this guy that um, Mertry had put on water purification duty as a punishment for, for attacking the Belter that had taken some water. Um, uh, ends up dying. They don't know exactly why. Um, his friend then goes and looks for the Belter that um, had stolen the water and was attacked by this guy, thinking that he had killed him in retaliation. Takes him back, throws him in the water. This is like a, a pool of water that's formed in the... Um, the entrance to this place from the, the sea leaking in. And um, they're shouting whatnot, brings people over, and, and he's trying to drown him. Murtry says, let him up or I'll shoot you myself. He does. When the guy comes up, he has all these, these leeches on his face. Now, but I think these are some sort of um, evolutionary growth of the, the green eye crap that they have, the micro single cell organisms they have in their, in their eyes. Um, but they're all, and they're all over the place. Uh, they're all over the place in the water. You can see them, and then all over the walls, too. And if they touch you, they kill you pretty much instantly, which leads me to believe they have some kind of really potent neurotoxin that they secrete, like a uh, 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 dart frog or something like that. 
because that's probably way more potent because it kills you pretty much within seconds. Um, and they're all over the place now, all over the inside of that, that entrance area to the the spire, and also you can see some kind of some trails going down the hallways. Um, they, they leave these neon glowing yellow trails when when you shine UV light on their where they've been. Um, usually that kind of fluorescence indicates poisonous crap, usually, in nature. Um, <clears throat> so there wasn't really much on, if anything, on happening with Mars in this episode at all, so there's nothing really to talk about there. Um, so Abbasarala is um, starting to realize why she didn't want to to take the job of the Secretary General in the first place. She hates pol political bullcrap. And she's neck deep in it right now with this uh, election going on. And um, she's realized that she doesn't like to lose and that she'll do anything to not lose. Um, and that includes losing this election. So she's talking to her husband and says that she'll do whatever she has to to win. Um, even if it's using her, her office corruptly to try and influence uh, voters to vote for her. Um, so there's that. Um, there's also uh, there's also a an, an evolution or a, a progressing of the story line around the attack. Um, so they track down Marco or uh, well uh, the UN and the and uh, Ashford and Kamina both have tracked uh, Marco down to this ship called the Pazuza. Um, supposedly he's on board of it. Um, the UN uh, intel. Uh, agency or whatever it's called now. I don't think it's probably not called the CIA. Um, has been monitoring the ship and hasn't like docked anywhere since it's left port. So they think that Marco's probably still on it. Um, but they're not entirely sure. Um, their contacts have been able to verify that he's still on the ship or not. Um, she's given two different options that she can use. She can either have the ship blown up uh, by uh, one of their ships or they can do a precision shot, take out the drives and board it. And try and capture Marco alive. I think she's she she chooses the second one for two different reasons. Well, I think I think three actually. Uh, the first one is she wants to capture Marco alive, and the second one is she doesn't want she wants to minimize civilian casualties to prevent uh, the blowback on her polling numbers. Now the third reason is kind of tied to the first one, which is she wants to have Marco uh, capture Marco alive to put him on trial for what he's been doing the the sojourner. Um, attack and the attack on Earth, as well as to use him as a um, political tool to uh, improve her poll numbers by um, making it seem like she's under control, in control of the situation, which is not really in control of the situation. So there's a political aspect to what she, she chooses there. So they do the, the boarding and they start looking, trying to look for Marco, they go to the bridge, haven't found him, uh, somebody starts shooting, not Marco. And the, the Marines shoot back, and then about a couple seconds later, the, all the feeds go dead, and all the um, life sign uh, meters go flatline. And she get, they get a communication from the ship that they sent to do the uh, to execute on the the options that they were given, and um, they say that the, the ship basically has blown up. So they blew it up themselves. The people on board blew it up. Um, don't know if it blew up because. Um, it was a trap for the UN, um, or if it was just because they blew it up to hide whatever they were transporting. Um, there's also a possibility that this is foreshadowing something that I'm not really too thrilled about, which is that they're going to have Marco be this like criminal mastermind. Um, up to this point, Marco's they haven't made any kind of connections with Marco Navasarella. Um, and uh, the only way that that could work that he would know what she would do in that situation and was able to um, account for it and be able to execute something like that in advance is if Gao is helping him. Because Gao used to work in her administration, so, so she knows what Avasarola might have done in that situation. Um, what her thinking might have been, what her actions might have, what that might have led to in terms of actions. Now, if she isn't, then they're turning Marco into this guy that knows much more than he should because... Um, they haven't built that connection yet between Abbasarala and Marco or uh, the relationship between them enough to where he would know what she would do. And um, that would be a... That would be maybe one of the first... Uh, maybe the first or only one of a few MacGuffins in this series so far. Um, 
but I would have to knock like a point off for um, that if that was ever that was going to happen to like the the seasons rating I would give it. I haven't been giving ratings to these other episodes. Um, really, I'd say so far every episode's uh, been about a an eight out of ten. Um, I think episode. Um, I think episode five or six or both episode five and six might have been nines. Um, and I think the first episode would be a nine too. Um, everything else has been around uh, an eight on the rating so far. Um, so that's all the stuff that I wrote down. Let's go ahead and get into episode eight. The name of this episode is. Um, the one I, the one I'd man. Hey, Karsha. Oh. Um. Hi, we're experienced travelers. Top Gear. The Grand Tour presents. Oh, Grand Tour. Okay. All right. Oh, that was from season um, two. That was when the uh, that new kit, Africa, the one that they missed uh, from Mars. Actually, that might have been season three. Okay, so the it's the same people writing and directing the last episode. <laughs> They're doing this one. been running on every news feed in the belt. This was an unprovoked attack by the UN. These actions endanger the armistice and put the alliance around the ring gate in jeopardy. Secretary General Candidate. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Jim. I know this has been a rough day for you. Yes, ma'am. One of the most difficult days of my career. I'm here to tend to my resume. <laughs> General, I knew you it. do not need to fall on your sword for this. I understand that's how the public will perceive it. He realizes what's going on. Well, they would have died anyway if they had blown the ship up from, you know, without doing that. They just blew it up. That would have happened, too. There's Fred Johnson. Finally gets to see him. He's on the beam. Welcome yep. to Medina Station. It's called Medina. No. <laughs> you promised to hold your temper. I did. I did. I held it in my fist. That's the buck of my mouth. Video he is now broadcasting is going to rally thousands of belters to his side. And your bullshit statement blaming the UN will rally thousands more. You turned Marco into a goddamn hero. I trusted you with my vote and you chose to let him go. I was cleaning up your mess. You're putting this on me? She cast the right vote. She saw the larger picture unfolding in that airlock. Oh, that's interesting. She made the correct decision, difficult as it was. Which is exactly what I did. I didn't expect we him to say that. Impossible. We all have enough blame to share. Even more problems to solve, so politics. Yeah, that our Ashford's trying to keep these two from. Well, the water's almost all the way gone now. Doesn't matter, they can't get out. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's holding. Jeez. Amos. Oh, so he's the one eyed man. Okay. Got them all. Or maybe not. Amos? He's got them all. They're dead. I'm just sending a message to the rest of us. <laughs> Make sure they don't keep coming. 
sending a message to the rest of them. So she's blind now. Yeah. So we'll Slugs secrete a powerful neurotoxin. Mm, yeah. That immediately paralyzes. Yeah, I'm blind, the one eyed man was the king. <laughs> the land of the blind. So I guess Holden is the one eyed man then. I guess that makes sense. Sorry, I gotta go. If this is a love him and leave him situation, just know you're gonna miss out on more folks. Grab a coffee downstairs. I got pancakes too, if that's more your thing. So what happened with the terraforming town? Ships on its way in from Callisto, the offloaded cargo is being housed at storage level three and is scheduled for immediate recycling. Package from the dock storage facility to one of the bursts. So we're just the middle main. So I guess my idea was not package until we make the handoff. That's it. That's it. What? What happened? I think someone walked away. That way. Amos. He blew a gasket. The morning pictures in my office, celebrating the pride of the inners. A history of coveting another's homeland and killing to take it. We're painting those same pictures, murdering innocent people, our own people, in exchange for peace. I hope Marco's wrong about our future, but I fear he's not. Marco is a nihilist. In the guise of our patron, I have seen blood spilt my entire life, and I have spilt enough myself to know that the future, our future, cannot be built on violence. You sound like a politician. Oh, I'm just old. Age changes you in ways you don't expect. Better offer you the job of running this place, King. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but I decline. I have more pressing matters. Like what? I am going to hunt a mark. Interesting way to start a future of peace. The longer Marco lives, the more followers he will recruit, and the more our nation and our peace will be at risk. If you want. So I wonder if um, Dawes is going to come take over the Meridian. Or Medine, whatever the hell it's called. Medina. I'm looking for Eastside Martin. Who is it, honey? Eastside. Hey. What the hell? Hey. Come on in. His name is Isai Martin. Bobby, Drug this guy. Is my wife. Tells <laughs> Murtry smirking, smirking about. What if it's not your blood? What if your blood is normal, but it's your vitreous humor that isn't? My what? Your eye fluid. What can we do to find out? Interesting. So what if there's something like mm, protomolecule-esque going on in there? This is the only way. <laughs> Stab yourself in the eye. <laughs> Just don't go in too far. Good safety tip. <laughs> I'll take it up. What the hell? That was quick. Is that a good or a bad? Well, nothing is, is really abnormal. But if we end up getting out of here... You might want to see a doctor. You have precancerous cells that could become life-threatening. The anti-cancer meds are what is killing the organisms. That's what's making <laughs> me immune? It has me gather up some chemicals. Something productive out of you getting irradiated after all. Well. Ice cream, whipped cream. Did you get the job? That wasn't a topping choice. <laughs> let's eat and we'll talk. So that's a yes then. A gift for you. Oh, that's very thoughtful. Him a gift for your send off. No, she's not gone. You're not coming. Well, crossing out that. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. I think something's going to go horribly wrong. What are the moons in the background for? 
along with that like deep kind of guttural uh, note that put in the music there when it showed up. Cables of guilt. Thank you, Kylie. Bring it on. Something's gonna happen to that movie. Where's the other one? I've got that moon in way too many shots. Oh, wait, is the, the name of the RCE? Really? Woman that he's I'm getting out of here. She just says involved with herself. The far side's already coming back. I didn't think you could pull it off. <laughs> Never dealt the whole thing. I can say it's a can't fight. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> Is it like a nuclear winter or something? Until the next shitstorm happens. We all know one's coming. Miss Gow, do you have any comments on the new images from New Terra? Why is she so happy? On the ring gate and exploring new worlds. Why was she looking so happy about the whole thing? from New Terra. Yes. You said the last thing you wanted to do was unnecessarily scare the planet. I did, but no, it was necessary. Because you're scared to leave. You're inciting fear and hysteria to cover up your own mistake. New Terra is the headline again, as it always should have been. Nothing else in this election ever should have mattered. This isn't about the ring world. It's about your pride. You wanted me to play this game, so I did. You don't get to be upset with me because I didn't play by your rules. All you words to take your hearts. There is nothing righteous in winning this way. I did what needed to be done. You used our son's death for political advantage. Let me guess. Yep. Yeah. It's Miller time. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? The hell? He is glitching out. No! What the? F what the? F what the hell? Okay, we gotta pause this thing. What the hell? What the hell is that? Okay, um, so let's, let's go ahead and go over that episode. So, um, first thing that happened in the episode was that uh, General MacArthur uh, resigned at a protest for what he felt of us related, which was to try and use the um, situation with the uh, Pazuza for political gain, which she did in part. Um, also, uh, uh, they had a uh, service for the Marines, and she tried to relate to the voters using her experience with her son, who was killed by the OPA, who was a Marine as well. Um, then she turns around and leaks the some of the Im some of the images they received from Eyeless to the media, who leaks it uh, to public, um, to try and basically destroy uh, 
Gao's entire political campaign platform by training public sentiment against um, uh, colonization of the ring worlds. That's what they're calling them. Um, this in turn, though, makes uh, pisses off her husband extremely as he, th he, now, he, he thinks now that she's just doing whatever she wants to, uh, that she thinks that she has to to win, even including using their son as a political son's death is a political tool so stuff, stuff's going in ways that I think we'll find out later on exactly what's happening um, so Kamina decides to quit as the exo of the behemoth or the uh, Medina or whatever the hell it's called now um, uh, she doesn't join Ashford though who's going out to hunt down Marco um, don't know what she'll be doing but um what I'm thinking is that probably Dawes will come out and take over the Medina. Maybe. We'll have to see. It'd be nice to, to have, him come, have the character come back that way, though. Uh, I don't think we've seen him yet this season. Um, so, back on Eyeless, though, uh, Amos basically goes a little stir-crazy and tries to kill himself. Um, or at least doesn't seem to care if he dies, let's put it that way. Um, Holden gets him, brings him back, kind of talks him off the ledge. And then um, they uh, discover that his anti-cancer meds from when he got radiated an Eros are why the, the organisms aren't able to infect him. So um, they're able to, uh, to synthesize the, the medicines, and so they, they do that, and they're disturb uh, inoculating people against that uh, eye crap. Um, so, while that's going on, um, Holden goes up to the surface, uh, to see what things look like, and comes back down. And as he comes back down into the spire, he turns around and sees Miller, who just glitches the hell out. And, uh, uh, you see all these different kind of versions of Miller, uh, showing up, and then ends with him screaming into Holden's mind, I guess. Um, so, I think we'll figure out what the hell's going on with that. Maybe something did go wrong. Maybe that, that, that reactor wasn't supposed to explode. Um, who knows? Let's we'll find out. Um, on Mars, uh, we find out the, the drug guy's name is Zaya Martin. And um, they, they have a new job lined up. I don't, don't remember if they ever... Maybe I missed it in the other episodes or something, but it seems like the tower... Um, the the tower job is done and they've made their money from it and it wasn't kind of like a, a thing like I was saying maybe a declassified sort of or a, uh, a classified operation that was being trying to be hidden from the public view um, they have a new a new job from uh, given to them by an active uh, MCRN agent uh, MCRN military person uh, someone that's in the military in the MCRN right now to uh, transport some materials and uh, not ask any questions about it. You're getting paid a hell of a lot of money to do so. And Bobby has this, this really bad feeling about what, what this job is and doesn't want them to go through with it. Uh, Zaya says, we're going to do it anyway because the amount of money we're going to get I'll be able to, to get out of the business and uh, go to one of these ring worlds to help colonize it. And he says that he basically convinces Bobby that Mars is basically dead. Um, with the the introduction of these new worlds, people aren't going to sit around on Mars for another two generations while the they turn into a garden. And when they have worlds that are gardens that they can go to and colonize now. Um, and Bobby kind of buys into that idea and it's kind of screwing with her mind at the moment. I don't necessarily disagree with that. That makes sense to me. Um... Sure, they, they, these scientists have devoted a lot of time to turning Mars into a garden world, but um, I think a lot of scientists, when they are presented with something completely different, and completely abstract uh, notion that's now become a reality, they're going to go gravitate towards that no matter how much time they've invested into something they've been working on. Uh, like, you know, if a new world, if new world suddenly, and new systems that are completely foreign to humanity are suddenly available to be colonized, they're going to go to those worlds and see what's going on in them. Um, kind of like what uh, the exobiologist was saying about with Holden. Um, 
Uh, let's see. What else is there to talk about? Um, I guess that's really it. Uh, so that's all for the notes I did for episode 8. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Uh, appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Um, if you hit the notification icon, uh, you'll be notified when I upload new videos or do any live streaming. And uh, I will see you for the next reaction for episode 9.